triple jump. And this is how they finished after five rounds. The, the best three in reverse order. Third place, Tobia Bocchi from Italy. Went out to 17.04. That was his opening jump in round one. The Italian, the Italian champion. And in second place after five rounds, one of the two Portuguese, Thiago Pereira, the three times Portuguese champion. And it was a lifetime best, and no wonder he was pleased with it. 17 meters 11, a personal best in round five. But the best of the lot over the five rounds was Pedro Pablo Pichardo, also from Portugal, the Cuban born, of course. 17.29, that was his opening jump, a nice loosener from Pichardo, who was playing to the crowd and really enjoying himself there. So that gave us our final three. I'm sure you're getting used to the new structure for this season, which is being trialled. The best three jumps after five rounds earn the right for a sixth sudden death playoff, if you like, in round six, and they will jump in reverse order. Three, two, one. Those are our first three through. And so... Just a few minutes ago, it was Tobias Bocchi with his sixth Bocchi and final jump. And the advantage of going second and third, of course, is you, you have a, a feel, you know exactly what you've got to do. So this very much laying down a marker from Bocchi. Sudden death, total jeopardy, really. Does he go for it or does he risk no jumping? That's the the conundrum and the stakes. The important thing is to get a white flag. That's the most important thing, first of all. And then lay down a, a competitive marker. And you can see a little shake of the head there from Bocchi, the Italian. Look to be short of 16.50. So nowhere near his, uh, his best jump in the opening five rounds. Perfect on the board. Decent second phase, and he was already looking, wasn't he, at the, the scoreboard before he even hit the sand. Well, this format, Chris, does create the climactic moment in the horizontal jumps, which otherwise would be absent. 16.60 there for Bocchi. Lays down a, a solid mark for the others to, to target, and it's been surprising, actually, in recent weeks how often the uh, competition leader after five rounds is unable to produce the goods or produce something even really strong with this additional pressure of it being an all or nothing situation. Pereira next to go. Remember, 17-11 for him coming in round five. That was his first time ever over 17 metres. And that didn't look quite to have the same energy explosiveness as his uh, earlier best effort it was only in the previous round he had a couple of 16 high 16 efforts to begin with then he passed round three and no jump in round four then he produced the big one but i'm not sure that is any better in round six waiting for the mark to come up remember bocky on 1660 Pedro Pichardo's 17.29 from round one, and he sat out all those further rounds, two, three, four, and five. Of course, he's wiped in effect. 16.46, so he's in second place at the moment. The uh, spotlight falls upon Pichardo now, who has to better 16.60. So ever the entertainer then, Pichardo knows exactly what he has to do, and that's the added advantage, of course, of going into this final three, sixth round as the leader. He gets the right to jump last, so he knows exactly what he has to do. And what he has to do is better 16 metres 60. Does he have another 17 metre jump in him? Crowd obliging with that rhythmic clapping, the double clapping, I noticed, which is uh, what Pichardo prefers. Here he goes. Oh, terrific. Great hang there, wasn't it? Good third phase, he likes it, gets the white flag most importantly. And that, subject to confirmation to me, looks like the winning jump for Pichardo. Yeah, three really nice phases, Chris, you called it right. He had a rhythm to that, didn't explode and put too much into the first phase, saved enough for that middle phase, and all three of them were really optimal, and that's a big jump. 
Portugal. It looks to be the best of the the whole evening. Just waiting for confirmation to come through. Good teammates. Let's just look at this again. It was so good, worth watching again. And well, textbook triple jumping. There really he was giving 16 centimeters away to the board. So that was uh, pretty generous of him. But the balance really is poetry in motion. I'm sure Christian Taylor, sadly injured, will be watching, I'm sure, with uh, with some envy. One of his great rivals, of course, over the years. So they're the final three. I can tell you it's come up yet. Yeah, 17.50, comfortable victory there for Prashado, who led going into the final three and comes out the other end with victory. So Portugal one and three, either side of Bocchi from Italy. A nice symmetry to the first three in that triple jump competition being over 17 metres. Torrijos of Spain was a fourth with 16.66.